YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabby. I am so excited for today's video because it's going to be another buy or buy, which is a monthly series that I do on my channel where I go through all of Lululemon's new releases and give you my honest opinion on each of the items. Just as a disclaimer, yes, I am a Lululemon educator. However, this video is not sponsored. These are all my own opinions and I just wanna throw that out there before we get started. But if you want to know everything that dropped recently at Lululemon, then just keep on watching. I am filming this on Wednesday, June 22nd. So this will be for June 21st drops. And that's just because I have to get this video up and pre-filmed and edited since I will be away on a trip next week. But alas, I feel like today's drops were pretty good. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we have is the new Align high rise pans in Prosecco. Pretty sure these are going to be double lined, but I don't think this is actually part of their nudes collection. I would have to say, I think Prosecco is definitely more of that like really yellowy beige. So an interesting color for leggings. The next thing we have here is this Nulu Friend Gather Yoga Bra Light Support, again in Prosecco. I love the little detail on the back here. That is so cute. We also have it in bronze green. I would have to say the gather front part of it is maybe like a little bit juvenile for me. It's kind of cute, but I feel like again you'd have to wear this bra as like a sole item it would definitely show through a top and kind of look a little weird in my opinion but there is that we also had a huge drop of this Nulu mesh line so these are the shorts for it I did try them on in store and I usually post all of these things to TikTok and I also go live on TikTok every Tuesday for new releases every week so if you love these videos and want to see them every week be sure to join me live on TikTok I also have a Google Doc every week of new releases so I'll put that in the description down below so you guys can see it if you are unable to join me live on TikTok and still want to shop all of the new releases in one place I will leave that down below it's a great tool to quickly have a little skim through what's new and I will update them as new releases are dropping on Tuesdays but again I tried these on didn't really love them it's definitely a very lightweight I would say and it's basically like a line shorts underneath with like a mesh layer over top and to me I just don't really know if I get this trend. I don't know, there's so many shorts coming out at Lululemon that have this like dual layer thing. Personally, I just don't think it's for me. The shorts are super comfy, but I just don't really get the mesh thing. I don't know, so I'm gonna take a pass on that. We also got a brand new color of the Rest Feel Slides. This one is Lemon Ice, which again is that light yellow. I do feel like these would also get dirty very easily. I don't know, It's if you like yellow, then it's cute. I also have a full Slides and Bliss Feel review coming soon next week, so be sure to subscribe and stick around for that. Okay, the next thing we have here is for Team Canada exclusive, so Canadian friends, this would apply to you, but unfortunately for my American friends, you won't be able to access this collection, but basically it's just like a little capsule piece that showcases things that bring us together. They did a collab with an artist named Justin Broadbent. Four Canadian cities got specific designs, so Vancouver, Calgary, Toronto, and Montreal. I can see Calgary's on here, obviously, and they come in both the men's and women's collection. I'll have it linked down below so you can check it out. Um, but it's a pretty cool design. You can collect all of them. I can see Vancouver's here as well, which is kind of cool. So a little collectability piece in between the games, just as a reminder to keep the spirit alive. So that also released, I believe, last week, but it it is showing in this week's drop so I'll just mention it briefly we also have the Align mesh t-shirt this is like a special edition um, so it does have the mesh on the back which again I feel like looks very odd to me I don't know why I think the black one looks pretty nice it'd be cute for like dance or something if you are a dancer uh, but for like everyday wear I just don't really like the aesthetic of it so again I'm gonna take a pass on that item. And following in that line, we do have the Criss Cross Mesh High Rise Crops. Now, I did try these on in store as well, and I would have to say this fabric is extremely thin. Like, this is the thinnest fabric I've ever put on from Lululemon. I would say the crops are definitely better than the next ones I'm going to show you here, but again, I just don't really love the mesh in it. It is very soft and, you know, comfortable. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm not a mesh gal, but they also have these stirrup tights, so it does have the little bottom part on the foot. And I just, 
I this item was not for me at all I did not like the giant seams on the mesh part it kind of makes it look like runs in nylons if you know what I mean and I just don't think that's like an aesthetic look to me personally now of course you all can have your own opinion that's totally fine i'm just giving you mine that i personally did not really like the look of these and i did not like the design of them and i just don't really get stirrup tights i know it's kind of more for like that gymnastic dance circus type of thing acro um but personally i don't have a use for it i don't really care for it so again gonna pass on that entire new lumen mesh line okay next we have a bunch of new colored shorts so we have the align high rise short eight inch in raspberry cream and then some new six inch aligns in dusty clay and contour which is a part of the neutrals line that is going to be permanent and lululemon we've got some charged indigo fast and freeze honestly i I just can't with this tight. I don't love it. I feel like I'm really in between sizes for them. I know they're supposed to be compressive, but I am like truly in between sizes for them. And I did size up to a four one time and they just completely stretched out. So fast and freeze are definitely a no for me. We do have the lemon sorbet and a heathered lemon sorbet in the align bra. These are my new recent obsessions for sports bras. I think they're so cute and comfy. I'm not really sure how I feel about lemon though. I feel like it's very close to white. It's a very, very pale yellow so it could work uh, some more highlights here we got some bronze green in the align tank i really want to know what these leggings are too i think they're aligned with pockets but i'm not 100 sure if they're going to be like pink blossom or if they're a new type of pink so stay tuned for that um let's see what else we have more align crops we got creamy mint and this new circulate tie-dye mineral blue multi now this gives me very like cotton candy tie-dye vibes. It's not bad. I don't think I mind it like on the model here. I just don't think I would personally wear it or at least I would wait for it to go on markdown before I would purchase this. I would definitely like to see it in person before I make like a true judgment, but I don't hate it but I don't love it. We also got more poolside in the energy bra long line. This is a super popular color at Lululemon right now. And I feel like the energy bras are probably the most popular sports bra at Lululemon. However, they just don't really work for me. They are made for medium support for a B to D cup. I'm a little bit more on that B side. So I feel like it just ruches in the band a little bit too much. And that shows through my shirt because it puckers. Probably going to pass on that one. We got pastel blue in the all yours t-shirt. Absolutely love these t-shirts they are so soft and comfy a perfect like oversized everyday staple I highly recommend checking them out if you don't own one already I'm only gonna go through the highlights just because there's so many new releases and I know these videos are always so long so again more poolside in the base pace tight I actually really like the base pace tights I only have one pair but I definitely need to get more they are super sleek and very like hugging but like in a good way I can't wait to wear these for hiking bronze green is another big color and this is in the free to be elevated bra we also have charged indigo in the free to be serene this is one of my favorite sports bras from lululemon i'm absolutely obsessed with them and probably my go-to so definitely check that one out as well if the energy bras don't quite work for you that's always my go-to recommendation we also have a whole bunch of the align waist length tank tops so we have sonic pink i know a lot of people have been asking for the regular sonic pink to come back and i honestly don't know if it's going to or not but you could also crop this as an option. Lululemon does do free hemming. Hopefully that would turn out fine. I don't know if it'll be as tight to the body because this one kind of like flares slightly towards the hips, but that is always an option if the Sonic Pink one doesn't actually come back. We also have magenta purple and poolside. So lots of fun colors in the waist length tank top. And again, a great option if you need just a little bit more length from the original Align tank. We got a bunch of new Swifties today. This one is Marble Dye Raspberry Cream. So so pretty although I do have the regular raspberry cream swiftly so I probably don't need this one I love it paired with the electric turquoise though we also have the electric turquoise swiftly as well and I did order this one and we have the distorted noise neon lemon sorbet slash highlight yellow 
again super cute and I don't know not really a yellow person but I do like the color it's nice and bright for summer okay now for probably the most exciting thing in today's launch was new colors of the Blissfield running shoe so Lululemon released four new colors in the Blissfields this one is light ivory charged indigo and delicate mint maybe one of my favorites that dropped today if I didn't already have two pairs of Blissfields I definitely would have picked this one up and I don't know they're just it's so cute. I have so much of both colors that I really feel like it could go with a lot of my outfits. And I love that it's like an ivory instead of just like plain white. I feel like maybe it's a little bit more forgiving. But they also have the white, cyan blue, and cirrus blue. This is gorgeous. Also one of my top picks for Blissfields. But again, I really don't need more running shoes at this point. My closet is full of running shoes but I love the bliss feels. So this is very hard to resist. I might have to cave eventually and get a pair, but I'm trying to hold off for now. We also have the rosemary green, purple highlight and white, and the lemon ice highlight yellow and white. So pretty cute new colorways in the shoes. Lululemon also came out with a new color in the Align 4 in shorts, and I feel like this doesn't happen very often. This is raspberry cream, which I did also decide to pick up, so you'll have to stay tuned for my monthly haul as well to see all these items. However, the one big question around these was if they're going to be double lined. The Aiden shorts are double lined because they have a seam on the outside and the leggings are double lined because they also have a seam on the outside. But in this photo, it doesn't appear to be a seam on the outside of these shorts. So I'm kind of curious to see when they come in. I'm sure they're going to be thicker and I don't know if they just didn't do an outside seam because it's so short. So it's kind of nice that they won't have that seam, I guess. And I'm very excited to try these out. It's been a long time since I've had like foreign shorts and they've been sold out for a very long time. So I jumped on those. We also have a new line of soft stream items at Lululemon. This is the soft stream high rise relax pant. I did try these on as well. I definitely think you could dress up like the black ones or the white ones for like a more business casual office setting. They're super soft, very comfy. And then I just like tucked up the like jogger kind of cuff on it. And then it's just basically a cropped pant. So definitely an option if you do work in an office setting that has a very casual dress code. Didn't mind them, but didn't love them. We also have the Like a Cloud ribbed bra, which is new. This is the color Dusty Rose. They also have white and black, but they just have like basically a ribbed texture on them. But I love the Like a Cloud bras, so definitely recommend that one. We have a new Edge Street short sleeve shirt in seal gray. I've tried on a couple of these and they are cute. I do find them a little bit tight in the armpit shoulder area, so that could technically be an issue if you have broader shoulders. Again, I didn't mind it. It's a little bit tricky to get in and out of. We have a new Invigorate Training Tank Top in Sonic Pink, Scream Green Light, and Poolside. These have been really popular. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work for me because these seams come right across the chest, which is one of my pet peeves. So I will definitely not be purchasing one of those, but they are super, super popular tank tops and a great alternative for the Align Tank if you want something a little bit more held in and supportive for working out. There's also a bunch of new Kate's tees, and I know people were a little bit concerned with these potentially not coming back since a lot of colors went to Markdown and there wasn't a lot of selection, but alas, we have Wild Mint, poolside and pink clay now back in our Kate's tees. I really do love these ones. They are a little bit longer than the all yours crop tee, but a nice like basic cropped t-shirt for the summer. Great to throw on after a pool or going to the pool, the beach, something like that, or just when it's hot out. I think it's a great little summer item. Swiftly Tech short sleeve, we got bronze green here. We have poolside with the chroma check in it and the scream green with the chroma check as well. We have a new color of inner glows in the heathered red Merlot. These are the French Terry version, which I definitely think the model was better, but the French Terry is nice and light for those hot summer days. Oh, then we have the soft stream high rise pants. Now these ones were definitely very long on me. I would have to get them hemmed. I think they are meant to be more of a kind of relaxed look and feel to them. They were super soft. However, I just kind of felt like they just sat there on me. They didn't flatter me at all and I kind of felt like they were grandma pants. No offense to grandmas out there but it just wasn't really the vibe that I like to style and dress in so 
Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass on these, but they are so, so cute. I did try on the strawberry milkshake. They have black and the lemon sorbet. I would say the lemon sorbet and strawberry milkshake are gonna be obviously a little bit more sheer, and you can kind of see the outline of the pockets in the pants, but I don't think you'll have that problem with the true navy or the black pair. So super cute. If you do have like a maybe longer inseam length too, you won't have to hem them. Check them out if you love the soft dream material, but unfortunately for me, it didn't really work out and I'm kind of sad about it because I think they are still super cute. The next thing we have here is the soft stream pocketed hoodie. This also just released in the soft stream line. Honestly, I really love that Lululemon is coming out with more kind of hoodies and jackets like that that are full zips, not just like half zips. It does have like the little hair tie kind of zipper pull as well. Haven't tried this on, don't really know much about it, but it does look cute. Gonna say the graphite gray is maybe a little bit of a miss for me. It kind of looks faded, washed out, and kind of old and not in a very like flattering way. I get it's supposed to be gray, but it just kind of looks like a very, very faded black. So maybe if there's more colors in this one, I will definitely have to try it out. But I did want to mention as well in the Lemon Sorbet one, she's wearing the new loungeful shorts. They come in graphic and the non-graphic kind. And I am absolutely obsessed with them. If you haven't watched my haul from last week, definitely go check that out. But I did get a pair of the loungeful high-rise shorts. These are the softest things ever. Oh my gosh, they're like the perfect sweat short. I have the graphic one in silver blue. Highly recommend them. Like, I cannot tell you enough how much I'm obsessed with them. They are so soft, they are cozy, they are like stretchy and comfortable. Like, I living in them honestly i know it's summer but like again for like a cool summer night or like if you just want to be cozy a rainy day kind of thing they are phenomenal so i just wanted to throw that out there just because i saw them in that photo um but let's get right back into new releases i see the air wrap model pullover hoodie is back they had this last year and then i guess they sold them all and now they're back but what's interesting is that they're back in two older colors so pink lychee came out kind of around christmas time when it was kind of big and capri was last year's kind of summer colors so interesting that they brought those back with raspberry cream that's like this year's kind of summer color and they also have black honestly i didn't love these hoodies i don't know they're okay on but i didn't love the kind of funnel neck of it and the texture of the fabric but let me know your opinion down below if you guys have tried them and like them uh, we also have this cotton wrap front t-shirt dress this is very interesting i don't know how to feel about it to be honest it's kind of cute but like kind of like maid vibes or like church vibes i don't know mm, maybe not for 106 maybe if it goes to markdown again something to definitely try on this model fleece pullover although i highly recommend it is so light and so soft it is the perfect like little summer layer if you're like boating or something it's a little breezy that day this is the cutest most comfortable like little layer and sweater so definitely check that out but yeah i really liked it in store this is the soft stream draped back crew i think this is basically like a longer version of the perfectly oversized cropped crew which is nice because i don't really love the croppedness of those ones so it's great that they have a little bit of a longer option as well for those who don't really want to crop we also have a new color in the lululemon aligned onesie this is autumn orange they also came out with poolside and magenta purple i think since the last fire buy i did again can't 100 percent remember honestly i don't know if i truly recommend these maybe it's just because i didn't really have a purpose for it i would say that i would hem the shorts to six inches so they're a little bit like less wrestler vibes less like circus olay and a little bit more like fashion kind of piece otherwise i don't go to ballet or bar or anything like that that i think this bodysuit is a little bit more geared towards so yeah, I, I would say pass, but again, a lot of people have it and are loving it, so take that with a grain of salt. We also have a little bit more in the Team Canada line. This is just like the regular kind of design for the capsule launch, I guess you could say. And then here's the other designs for Vancouver. This one's Montreal. We also have Toronto, and I guess they're supposed to encapsulate things that unite us as a community. So that's kind of cool, but they are there for my Canadian friends. Um, let's see what else. Oh, we have this translucent visor. 
yeah um this is interesting obviously kind of more for that tennis golf etc i don't think i would ever wear a piece like this i definitely think it's like more of that like also fashion forward like very out there athleisure look so i see how this has been trendy in like other posts and styles and stuff like that but i just don't think i could personally ever get behind it so that is very interesting and then we also had a new hat i believe it's the trucker hat again kind of cool i guess this is uh, trendy now i'm not a huge hat gal but apparently this is a thing the other thing i wanted to touch on briefly as well that's not necessarily a new release this week but has been released since my last fire buy is the strawberry milkshake scuba i was really surprised to see this come online finally and the poolside one which again was a really short turnaround time it came into stores and people were kind of talking about it on tiktok and then it did release quite soon after where the strawberry milkshake one had like a month's wait i believe between them so we do have quite a few new colors as well in the scoop of half zip dewy pink clay, medium olive. So love to see all of the new scubas. We also had wild mint drop in the US, but unfortunately Canada has not seen it yet on the website. Tough luck, hopefully it's coming soon. And maybe by the time the video is up, Canada also has the wild mint scuba. That is going to be all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me for new releases at Lululemon. Again, if you wanna see these kind of things every week, be sure to head over to my TikTok and follow me there as I go live every Tuesday for new drops at Lululemon. But if you can't join me, then remember to check out that Google Doc as well. And if you just want to have it, you know, up on the side of your computer while you're working away and you can just see everything filter in, then definitely go ahead and do that as well. But let me know down below what your favorite new releases from Lululemon have been lately. I think the drops have been fantastic. So hopefully that keeps going with Lululemon. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you have haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and with that I hope to see you in the next one bye